Making a buzz this afternoon, in 85 days, some of the most finely tuned in-shape bodies in the world will gather in London for the Summer Olympics. And McDonald's, of all places, will be a huge sponsor. In fact, the fast food chain will be the official restaurant of the Summer Games. McDonald's is not taking the duty lightly. Construction is now underway for what will be the largest McDonald's ever built. It will seat 1,500 people on two floors and crank out an estimated 50,000 Big Macs a day, not to mention 100,000 servings of fries. But not everybody is happy about this sponsorship. Doctors with Britain's Academy of Medical Royal Colleges just slammed the deal, saying it makes little sense for a fast food chain, which it says contributes to obesity, to sponsor the Olympic Games. What's your take on that? All right, we are joined today by guest Terry Gilbert from 550 KFYI. McDonald's has been a sponsor of the Olympics for a long time. Since 1976. And my take is that, yes, obesity is a problem. Mm -hmm. Of course it is, particularly with our young people, type 2 diabetes and so forth. But the point is, nobody makes you put a Big Mac in your mouth. And besides which, where are all these doctors slamming Coca-Cola? Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola oh, is yes. a major corporate sponsor of the Olympics, Summer Olympics in London, as well as Heineken is. I don't see all of the brouhaha against Coca-Cola. Cola. And when you grab those Diet Cokes thinking about calories, let's talk about the chemicals in those Diet Cokes uh -huh. or the <laughs> teaspoons of sugar in a regular right. Coke. Right. Oh, it's Look, bad. the Olympics wouldn't be the Olympics in London if it isn't for McDonald's. Yeah, a, Let's a face lot it. of the corporate sponsors, I totally agree with you, and there's healthy choices on the McDonald's menu. We talk right. about this all let's the time. Let's get a big salad. Yeah, right? yeah, let's get a salad or, you know, pairing, you know, your, your happy meal with, with apple slices versus french fries. But do you do that? Do you really go to McDonald's not. and get a salad? No. Well, those <laughs> athletes probably do because they're if health they conscious. eat there. But right, this, is a, right. this is an entertainment venue. Mm -hmm. So the people that are going to the Olympics, they want to take a break. They want to have a Big Mac. They want to have one of those, uh, uh, what are they, what are they happy called? Meals. The, the happy oh, they, meals yeah. for their kids and so forth. All right. It is your choice. Mm -hmm. And then if you got to exercise more or so forth, I just don't like it when they're coming in and put all the kibosh on the corporate sponsors. Mm -hmm. By the way, I looked up a few things. Visa is a corporate sponsor. Procter & Gamble is a corporate sponsor. Dow Chemical is a corporate sponsor. And BP, I'm sure there's a lot of things we can say about oh, all yeah. of them. Kids are on a v have a visa too early, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or and there is a new iPad type of of pad that is a corporate sponsor. What about all the texting and having your nose in a pad all of the time? Yeah, you know we can always poo-poo this, but. We wouldn't have Olympics if it wasn't for the corporate sponsors. And, and they're really take. all, like you said, are connected to something negative. But when right. it comes to, uh, right, to a, a restaurant, what other international restaurant can you think of that would, you know, tie in with the Olympics? And here's another note, too. Look at all the jobs that this restaurant is going to be offering. Right. 250 jobs in a city that isn't doing so well financially. Well, here's what you guys are saying. A lot of you agreeing. Uh, Moses Amuna says McDonald's has been a sponsor for the Olympics for years. Why are they making a big deal about it now? Jennifer Creasy Turner says it isn't as though they are forcing anyone to choose to eat there. It's a sponsor. McDonald's will make millions with or without sponsoring the Olympic Games. John DeLeo says it's all about the money. Fast food is an industry, not yet regulated like tobacco. Anyone remember the Marlboro racing car? I see the problem, but I don't really care. I don't eat there. All righty, we are continuing on here on ABC 15 now. A mother, four.